What is it that can spark the soul of a man to come alive? Is it the early morning mist that rises before him and slowly burns away as the morning fades? Is it the fast water of a cold, clear mountain stream? Maybe it's matching wits with a big brown, rainbow, or brook trout. Yes, I think so. It's all of these, and much more. Welcome to fly fishing in the Southern Appalachians. Today we're headed up to the mountains of southwestern North Carolina to the Fires Creek Wildlife Management Area, located close to Murphy, Andrews, and Hayesville, North Carolina. This is not only a wonderful place to visit, but you could really put down some roots around here. We'll be right back. Hi, Deanna Robertson here with Appalachian Land Company. I'm a real estate consultant here in the western part of North Carolina in the Northeast Georgia area. If you are looking for more of a laid back outdoor lifestyle, we have plenty of options here for you in this area. We have great outdoor activities, everything from fishing and hiking to antiquing in some of our small town area. If you want more information or would like help with the relocation process, please contact me. I look forward to having the opportunity to help you. Have a great day. Let's go to Fires Creek. We pull in to the Bristol Field Horse Camp on this early morning. Wildness awakens in my veins. The spring breezer first breath across the Smoky Mountains. The raw pull of life stirs the yearning for the possibilities of the mountain streams and their trout. Through the winter, the ghostly visages of their shadows have haunted me. Fleeting vapors in my dreams, beckoning me back to my place, my home on the banks of laughing streams and wistful jumps across boulders that I first began to understand place and belonging. It was as Harry Milton once said, ten steps on a narrow mountain trail and the heavy scales of life begin to fall away like so much dead skin. And I become almost unconsciously honest sum of my parts, a trout angler at loose ends, fishing from first light to last light Feeling my crew was so much more than trout. Angling is a way of life. It is an uncomplicated way of living, void of the distractions that assault us and prevent man and earth's connection. With a fly rod in my hand, I permit myself to the foolishness of a child joyfully wading into the heart of a fast moving mountain stream. The rod is my fulcrum and the string the bane of my adrenaline coming to a point to affix itself to the lifeblood of the mountains that I call home. There in the solitude, I wait and listen to the pulse and measured breathing of the water. The chill of the water biting at me with mist against my skin and the sharpness of leaf mold tugging my senses to be alert, alive. I cast again into the ever-changing light in hopes of catching the enshrined lightning of the mountains burned into my flesh and bone of the scales of the trout. Then in a brief, brilliant jolt, he strikes. My muscles seize to hold on to the voracious mouth that is battling to dive into another world. I reel him in bit by bit until I can scoop him up in my hands and hold a living gemstone born in the chilly waters of the Smokies. I release him back to his underworld with the promise of seeing him again on another day. Satisfied, I pack my gear to hunt for another spot where the roar of the water challenges me to cast my rod, knowing that time 
and a mountain stream is never wasted, it is absorbed and experienced thoroughly. What really are the important things in life? Don't wait too long to find out. There are plenty other places to fly fish here in southwestern North Carolina. Here are a few other streams from Cherokee and Clay Counties. <laughs>